right, that's it. Uh, January Carnival reset month is done. Why did I do a reset month? Well, just because of that word reset. It helps you, your digestive systems, and it helps your whole biology reset to a baseline in which you can build upon. And many people will stay carnivore because their body sings and their body thrives on the carnivore style nutrition, which is great. I myself will probably stay 95% carnivore, which is more of an animal based nutrition. And uh, you might ask why the reason that is, why don't you stay carnivore? If you are thriving so well on carnivore, why not stay it? Well, because I do enjoy different textures and flavors. I grow my own produce. So in the spring and the summertime, there will be onions available, tomatoes, things like that, which I will enjoy adding to carnivore pizza. Maybe add some fried onions or some tomato puree um, to add an extra texture or flavor to the food. Now, when you realize that adding in vegetables and fruits are just that, they are textures and flavors that you can add into your nutrition. The whole of your nutrition is coming from the carnivore style way of eating, the animal produce. That's where nutrition comes from. Yes, you can get little bits of nutrition from fruits, from vegetables, from extra things that you add in on top of your carnivore nutrition, but the vast majority of every single vitamin and nutrient that you need will come from the animal produce within your nutrition. So it stands to reason that your nutrition should be very, very high in animal produce to get the best nutrition that you can for you in your whole nutrition as a whole. Now, there's been lots of debate, especially in the athletics uh, community, about whether or not we need carbohydrates. And that word need no, we don't need carbohydrates. Nobody needs carbohydrates. The human body, biologically, when you break it down to a cellular level, there is no need for any carbohydrates for your whole body at all. Every single cell in your body requires fat and it requires protein. To function efficiently and effectively, it does not need any extra carbohydrates from your nutrition. Human body is quite adept at making its own carbohydrates itself. For that reason, I believe everybody should try out the carnivore style nutrition. Reset yourself, reset your own baseline. And it is just that, it's resetting a baseline. So within everything in life, you need a baseline to work from. Sometimes within training, people will say they're training at zone two or training at a very low intensity. This is to reset their baseline. This is to build the, put some foundations down to build upon with intensity later on in their training. And it is the same in nutrition. You need to build yourself that foundation so that you can potentially add in things to it to help with your goals. Like I say, sometimes Operating at baseline level is perfectly fine and it will suit quite a lot of people. Myself, I am going to be 95% animal based from here on in. I will maybe towards the end of the year do another carnivore reset. Mostly carnivore, predominantly animal produce is the way I eat. I could carry on filming through February, March, all the way through the year, every single day. I think most of you would get bored with that uh, because it would be mostly the same things. Fr through February, my nutrition is going to look very similar as it did through January. We eat the same kind of meals. We have the same kind of produce in the house. The only difference, as I said earlier, is that when the produce is available in the back garden or more fruits become available seasonally, I'll add them into my nutrition just for taste and textures and, and things like that. It also helps with being able to build meals for the family. Um, my son enjoys the pizza and the lasagna more with the tomato flavour in than not. So it also helps with that. The bottom line really is that hopefully I have proven within this month that you do not need carbohydrates in any form whatsoever. You can thrive perfectly well on just 
carnivore nutrition. You don't need anything extra. As far as your five a day go with plants and fruits and vegetables, you really don't need those things to get every single vitamin and mineral that your body thrives on. Some people have said about red meat causing cancer or red meat, or you are unavailable to get everything such as like vitamin C from red meat. Well, this is just not true. When you actually dig deep into it, you can see at a cellular level again, if you, if you take everything down to a cellular level, you can see that everything, every single cell in your body requires and needs is within those animal produce, especially red meat. Cell, uh, cancer and diseases only occur through cell mutation, through cells trying to adapt to something they are not used to. And that will only occur if you cause the cell a problem. And you cause cell problems by having too many sugars, causing it too much glycation, which is adding too much glucose to it. And then the cell has to mutate in a way to try and survive. As everything in the world tries to survive, its cells are not really no different. Once it tries to mutate to try and survive, it then causes the whole body a problem, too many cells causing cancer and other diseases and illnesses. So if you're not giving ourselves the problem, if you are giving them all the nutrition they need, if you're giving them the fats, giving them the proteins, giving them everything they require, then there should not be a problem with any disease or illnesses uh, down the line. Now I have broke things down to a cellular level in the biology series on this YouTube channel. So if you wanna know a bit more in depth about cellular biology, go and check out um, the biology series. I am going to add to the biology series as we go, look at different processes that happen through the human body, such as the Randall cycle, the Krebs cycle, things like that, um, how they work and, and what sort of things they need to be able to work. Um, and I will also, through the summer, through the spring and the summer, if you're interested, keep your eye out because I will look into training, how you can training adapt with your nutrition and what is best, what type of nutrition is best to run alongside different kinds of training. Especially when you're adapting from being a carbohydrate athlete into a more predominantly fat burning, fat burning athlete. I have said in the past that carbohydrates can help you in optimal performance. And I still believe that. But I only believe that if you are a fat adapted athlete who, who has already gone through the fat adaption process and predominantly gets most of their energy from burning fat or from gluconeogenesis throughout the body. If you are already a fat adapted athlete and you already are capable of doing high intense activity without carbohydrates, then I do believe that introducing some strategic carbohydrates for a race once or twice a year um, will actually push your performance that 1% more, you will be able to get a little bit more out of yourself because of that. Adding them in every day to every training session just will not do that. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about how the metabolism works, again, in the biology series, I've got a bit about the metabolism in there, so go check it out. And that's it for me. I'm going to end the video there, end the summary there. It has been a great month. Like I say, mostly I'll continue. I'll be 95% animal based. What I am going to add in today is a little bit about dark chocolate. I have missed some dark chocolate, so I'll add that in today. Um, other than that, I'm still going to be kind of, well, probably for the most of February um, until the fruits and the vegetables arrive in the spring and the summer. And I'll add them into my nutrition on the side of my animal produce just as a bit of flavor and a bit of texture just prioritize those animal foods so you can follow along with us anywhere all the links are on the website go there and find us subscribe to the youtube channel for more great content and thank you very much for watching